Now, at some point, your cover was blown, and you had to escape Cuba after being in the inner circle for many years, spying, bringing out lots of information, and- 10 years, it's happened. 10 years. Undetected. They've been looking for me everywhere, but they don't ever imagine that that little kid is the one is bringing all this information. They're arresting people, commanders, generals, but they never even look at me as a suspicious uh, individual. And I got a clearance into all the, uh, even the fresh mi mi missiles coming through Cuba from, you, you are from the Soviet Union. We open the fresh crate yeah. and take the fresh pictures. In other words, they don't even imagine it, you know, like doing that. So what happened to force you to have to, to run when your cover was blown? Well, uh, that is 10 years later, you know, after, you know, it's a huge thing in, the, in between, you know, things that happen, and, you know, like uh, by uh, pigs, you know, all kind of stuff, the assassination to Kennedy, uh, all kind of stuff with Cuba have involvement. Mm -hmm. And we have proof to that. But, uh, you know, I have a great information that what the Cuban government intend to do in Africa. Uh, and I meet my contact and I tell it, please, this information is extremely delicate because if they find out where this information coming out, they know it's coming from my office. And the people around me and the people that's working with me going to be in, or it's going to be killed. Please don't make this public. And they promised me not to touch it, they going to use it for detour, you know, this operation cut plan to do, but they not going to make it public. Unfortunately, you cannot ever trust politicians. And they soon the intelligence forces pass that to the politicians. They use it to get uh, a coalition against Castro with the United Nations. Then my blow, my cover is blow right there. All right, so as soon as they announced that information at the United Nations, they knew it had to come from your office, and then you had to escape. In, in less than 24 hours, they started arresting people in my office and take it away. And so you escaped to the United States? Yeah, after uh, the intelligence community gave me a plan uh, with a map, how we can go to the minefields and all the stuff, we transport ourselves from the Capitol Hill to Oriente, what is the extreme side of the island. Then from there, we walk into the jungle cross to the mine fields and go to Guantanamo base. And in Guantanamo, we swim in the water for almost 12 hours. And in the base, they put us in, under the protection to the Navy intelligence and they flew us to, uh, to Miami.